So Instagram has finally listened to our prayers and has released a Reels Insights feature. It's rolling this feature out slowly for all accounts over the next few weeks or months, I imagine. Some of my Instagram accounts don't have it yet, so don't panic if you don't have this feature. But I did manage to find one of my Instagram accounts which does have this feature. So I'm going to be giving you a bit of a walkthrough about what we can now see in our Reels Insights and why it's important as well. So hello, if you're new here, my name is Anna. I am a designer and online educator at byrosanna.co.uk. And here on YouTube, I share all sorts of content to do with business, marketing, tech tutorials, productivity, all of that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. So finally, we have some insights for our reels, which is going to help us to understand how our reels are actually performing in a bit more detail than what we were getting previously, which was just this little kind of plays icon in the bottom um, left corner of our reels, which just told us how many times that reel had been played. Now, the issue with having just this information on our accounts was that just because a reel has received, let's say, a thousand plays, for example, that doesn't necessarily mean it's reached a thousand people. It just means that the reel has been played that many times. So it might have actually been viewed by half that amount of people who have watched it twice. Um, and so that was the difficulty with just having that number available. We couldn't actually see how many people were viewing it and we couldn't see um, the comparison between how many people it had reached versus how many views we've got to see how many times people are watching it and things like that. But let's talk about what we are going to be able to see with this new insights feature. And again, I've only managed to get this on one of my accounts so far. So don't panic if you don't see this yet. Um, but I am going to show you what it looks like. So I'm on my account now and I'm going to head over to my Reels section. And as you can see, um, these are the numbers that I was talking about before you get that little play icon in the bottom left corner of each Reel. And that's telling you how many times that Reel has been played, but nothing more. So if I tap onto one of these now and go to the three dots um, button in the bottom right corner, at the very bottom of this list of options is View Insights. And if we tap on that, this is where we will now be able to see our Reels insights. So it gives you the information about the Reel at the top, it gives you the information about the audio, how long it is, and then underneath that we've got the discovery section, which is where it is finally telling us actually how many accounts or people this video has reached, so how many people have actually seen it, and then it's giving us the plays number underneath. So from this, I can see that I've had more plays than accounts reached, which is completely normal. That just means that some of these people will have watched the reel twice over. And these numbers can be really important to compare if you're trying to create content that is sticky, i.e. you want people to be watching it over and over again, because that does actually help with your overall Instagram engagement. Instagram's algorithm looks at this um, when they're deciding on how to rank your reels as well. So the aim for some of your reels might be that you want people to watch it several times. And so seeing the comparison between these two numbers can really help you to see, okay, is this reel performing? forming in that way, because finally we can compare it with the amount of people who have seen it. Um, so you can kind of estimate how many times on average a person might have watched the reel. Then underneath in the interaction section, we've got the amount of likes the reel gets, the amounts of comments, which of course we can see anyway when you're on the reel. Um, but you also get data about how many times it's been shared and how many people have saved it as well, which we didn't have that information before there are still some pieces of information that we're still not getting that we do get with grid posts insights, such as how many accounts were reached through hashtags and things like that. So I'm hoping that at some point they do kind of build this out a bit and give us a little bit more information. It's still quite sparse, um, but it is still better than what we had before. But that's not the only new feature to insights. If we actually go to our account insights panel, this has changed a little bit as well once you get this new Reels Insights feature. So if you scroll down, we can now see under the content you shared section that we can see our Reels um, showing up there as well. We can change the date at the top just to add some more content in there to show how many um, 
uh, types of content you have shared within the last 30 days, for example. And what we can now do is tap into the reels and um, filter them just as you could before in insights with your grid posts. So we can now filter them based on plays, based on likes, based on reach. And of course, you can filter that based on the last year, the last few months or the last few days as well. So this is helpful so that you can actually compare your reels next to each other properly rather than having to scroll through all of the reels you've created and compare it yourself manually. This will now filter things to show you which has performed best in terms of reach, which has performed best in terms of engagement so that you can then use this in your strategy moving forward and create more reels like those ones that are achieving the results for you. Another new thing that we now get in the insights section is if we head in there and go to accounts reached and tap on that and scroll down, what we can now see is your reach based on what content type. So here this is telling me that I have gained the most amount of reach and reached the most amount of accounts through publishing reels on my account and they're performing better than grid posts, they're performing better than stories for me in terms of reaching both my own followers because of the algorithm, not all of my content is going to reach all of my followers, um, but this is telling me that if I want to reach more of them, I should be posting more reels. And definitely if I want to reach more people who aren't already following me, for example, if I want to grow my Instagram account and get more followers, then Reels is definitely the way to go because these are getting way more reach than my grid posts and um, substantially more than my stories on here. So again, really, really useful for informing what you should be doing with your Instagram strategy. I could now look at that and say, okay, we're not gonna bother doing grid posts anymore. Let's just keep on doing reels um, and maybe focus on creating really um, three really high quality reels a, re a week rather than five grid posts. Um, it can really inform where you want to take your strategy next in order to achieve your goals because your goal might not be to reach loads of new followers your goal might be to reach um, more of your own followers and that those graphs can change. Um, obviously, you might end up reaching more of your own followers through grid posts. It just depends what it shows up for for you. So definitely once you get that insights feature and you can see the view insights on the individual reels, don't forget to check out your actual insights area on your whole account as well, because that gives you more information than it did before too. Now, if you want to learn more from me about Reels, you can join my Intentional Instagram Reels course. It has everything you need to get started with Reels, including 30 prompts and links to audios to help you get started creating. There's tech tutorials with everything you need, plus loads of information about how to actually create Reels strategically so that all the effort you're putting in is actually worthwhile and it's going to bring your business results. The course is self-paced and it's only £27. Um, obviously, depending on where you're located, it might add VAT at the checkout. Um, but yeah, it's an absolute bargain at the moment. So go and grab that if you want to learn more about Instagram Reels. I will leave the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again next week with another video.